So on the Ultra 4 chassis, the first thing that I need to do is define all of the mounting points for the suspension. And those plates will constrain the tube work so that I can design the rest of the chassis around those mounting points. So this part on the back ended up being kind of tricky because I needed to capture that rod end that provides the pivot point for the spare tire, but also leave enough room for the spare tire to swing down. And the back part of the assembly can be fairly light in terms of structure because there's not a lot of force back there. The trailing arms on the rear suspension push into the shocks, which push into the part of the chassis right behind the passenger. So really the only thing the rear of the chassis has to do is hold up the weight of that tire and the fuel cell. And so I'm keeping the front and rear of the chassis fairly simple. So this part is the torsion bar. And that torsion bar is nested inside of one of the tubes on the chassis. So this is the one of the first parts that I can build in is just a simple tube that's extruded outward that captures that torsion bar. And same thing goes for the spare tire mount. I have those weld nuts on the end that capture a tube and those bolt to the rod ends that allow for the pivot point of the spare tire. And I have an axis defining that pivot point for the spare tire. And then I'm mating the sketch to that axis. So now I'm making some planes that are going to locate the mounting points for the trailing arm. And what I'm doing is making a simple boss that goes out from that plane and then a cut on that same plane to make two plates that will capture either side of the spherical bearing on the pivot point for the trailing arm. And once I have these in, I'll have a good idea of where the chassis needs to be extra strong in order to take the load from the trailing arm, which is gonna have the most load out of any of the suspension components. And now I'm doing the same thing for the upper radius links that constrain the rear wheel suspension. I have a boss and then a cut to make those two plates where the rear trailing links are going to attach to. And then I'll build the chassis around these plates. Same thing for the shock mounts here. And these shock mounts are going to tie into the top part of the chassis. And it's going to be the most prominent sheet metal work on the whole thing. 